everyone! Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, for the very last doll makeover of 2021, I wanted to make something special. So I went upstairs to my stock, going through all my dolls, looking for something special, something different, something fun to work on, something that is not monster high. And then I had found her. Check it out. Ba bam! This is such a hairdresser's mannequin hat. If you remember years ago, really probably more than two years ago, probably three years ago on this channel, I already repainted one of these hats. Her name was Jessica, I remember, and it was quite a legendary makeover here on the channel. Everybody loved it. So I immediately after that makeover went and bought another of these hats. And then I have no idea why I never repainted her. Really, this is a mystery even for myself. Somehow my fantasy led me a completely different direction. And this poor hat had been sitting there for really for years in the box upstairs, waiting for some special opportunity, for some special occasion to get a makeover. So, and today it's finally her time. I remember that then I was looking for the ugliest doll on the market. Well, actually, she's not that ugly. Her face mold is super cute. But her makeup is very basic. Her eyes, eyebrows, lips, there is nothing special. And I think that we will be able to make her better. And I also feel that I have been somehow missing working on this big doll hat. So I think it's time to bring them back. And it's time to repaint one of them again. So, guys, I really hope you like this kind of makeup covers please let me know in the comments if you want more of them and yeah of course subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos normally next week friday and next week friday i'm gonna skip and then in two weeks on friday it's gonna be something completely new and completely different it's gonna be fun so subscribe and yeah now let's start working let's give this doll hat a complete makeover so this is how she looks from close. Here is also some paint on her nose, but it looks removable. So let's take pure acetone and let's wipe her face off. After this I take Mr. Super Clear sealant and I cover the face with three very thin layers of it. And then I'm going to take soft pastels and I will add shadows, highlights and blush to her face. And first of all I'm covering the face with a layer of lighter pastels and then on top of it I will draw shadows with a darker brown color and it will help me with blending because if I start applying darker shades straight to her skin it might end up pretty patchy, especially on the surface that is so big.
Okay, I will stop working on her skin tone for now and the next step would be drawing the rest of her face with watercolor pencils. And I've actually bought a box of new pencils just a couple of days ago. These are Derwent watercolor pencils. I've never tried them before, so I just couldn't resist the beauty of this set. And I gave this box to myself as a gift, like as a Christmas gift. So let's test the new pencils today, we have plenty of space on this canvas this time, so let's see how they work. And yes, I have kind of soft spot for boxes with pencils and also for eyeshadow palettes.
so I think I'm quite done with her face for now so it's time to style her hair and you know she has pretty bad hair to be honest it's natural hair but there is not much of it and it also feels so dry and dead and thin I don't know, let's try to make something very classy out of it. Her face looks quite retro, so I will try to give her also some retro vintage looking hairdo. Well, this is where I've ended up with it. I don't know, it looks much better than before to me. She starts looking very classy. Here is just this very awkward spot, the bald spot, where you can see her head perfectly. I told you, there was not that much of hair on her head. So I think I will put here some, I don't know, some sort of a decoration, like a fascinator, to hide this bald spot on her head. And her neck I decorate with a piece of black lace. It would look like a choker or a neck of a dress. So now let's give her false lashes and also apply glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And this time I'm using real human size falsies because her eyes are just way too big for my regular tiny doll lashes. Thank you. 
And I still have these pretty buttons. I think they would work perfectly as her earrings. I just need to pierce her ears with a Dremel. <laughs> I imagine if this is how it would work in real life. So, and this is the result of my quick face-up, the last face-up of 2021. Well, and it was a very interesting experience for me because I hadn't worked on these big doll heads for a very long time and everything felt quite new and fresh to me today. So, on one hand, drawing on a bigger surface is easier because you can draw everything properly, there is just enough space for it. But on another hand, it's also much more challenging because drawing shadows on a bigger face is much more difficult than on a tiny Barbie or Monster High faces. You just have to blend much more. But she looks really cute in the end of our makeover. She looks like one of those ladies on vintage makeup packaging. I remember my grandma had some perfume and possibly also face powder or something like this with the painting of a classy lady like this on the box. This doll really gives me exactly the same vibes of this vintage makeup packaging. So, I don't know, there is something old-fashioned about her face, but she looks very much alive and it also looks like she's going to some very, very classy New Year party while all of us are sitting home again. <laughs> So, and that was my last doll transformation of 2021. I hope you enjoyed it today, guys. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. The next one normally will be in two weeks on Friday. The next week, Friday, I'm gonna skip because I'm working on something very big right now really very big and special so don't forget to subscribe and i will see you ready very soon in my new dory paint video love you guys bye